As a Raptors fan, life has been kicking my ass, and I, I just want to relive the glory days. You know what I mean? And that's it. There's a new NBA champion, and it's a team from Toronto, Canada. You know, Kawhi, he may not be the same person he was in Toronto, but, you know, if he had stayed, I'm, I'm sure we would have been much better. If Kawhi stayed, do we go back to back? 3P. 3P. Yeah, for sure. Man, those were the glory years. I just, I, I, I just can't... But now Kawhi's a Clipper, and you know he's doing Clipper things. Sizing up his defender, finds a shoot, step back for the lead. Hot damn! Wait, wait a minute, that 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 wasn't a Clipper thing to do at all. That was clutch. Kawhi being clutch, he's back, guys. He may be back. Everybody's up in the Amway Center. The tomb of Kawhi Leonard. As soon as Kawhi left, it wasn't the same anymore. We all knew this team was not nearly as strong without Kawhi being the top heavy player. It's obvious to us that we were just coping for the loss of Kawhi this whole time, right? It was just a perfect group of individuals and we all understood everybody had the right mindset for the roles. I think definitely we would have won a few more. Did Van Fleet really say this? Oh my gosh, bro. Now we suck. Now he sucks. Tatum with 18.7 rebounds. Fred doesn't go. Now two for 11. All right, folks. Uh, I'm just here to announce that I'm going to now make, you know, more in-depth videos moving forward. They may not be as long. They may not be as short. I, I don't know. But I just want it to be more in-depth. I want to, them to be more cinematic. I want them to be more... Just enjoyable and entertaining overall so i would appreciate if you subscribed and if you like the videos i was making in the last couple months don't worry i'll still make them but don't me on my second channel now back to the video it's always fun to do these what ifs because it leaves you thinking of the best scenarios but obviously knowing how the world works uh, most likely those scenarios do not happen but ideally right Kawhi stays you know what Free Pete? Doesn't sound too bad, man. He would have been a surefire dynasty, bro. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. He never would have wanted to stay in Toronto in the first place. Well, give the Celtics credit. 13-3 run here. I mean, Van Vliet's just talking out of his ass, isn't he? Right? We can't even win against good teams anymore. But wait. But wait what if Kawhi did stay? We surely would have won it all. If Kawhi, Kawhi stayed, stayed, do we, do go, we back go back to back? Oh my goodness, I gotta stop, I gotta stop thinking about this. Let, let, let's get back to the Pelicans. Giannis out on the arc. This place is going to explode. Got this it. place is going to explode. Time out, Nick Larry. Yeah, for sure. Nope, I just cannot help myself, okay? We had a roster that could free Pete, and Kawhi just Pete left champion, us. And it's a team from Toronto, Canada. We the North are now we the champions. No, I wouldn't have stayed if I was in the shoes either. I mean, having the paparazzi following you around in a helicopter, that's just, I wouldn't be able to handle that. Yeah, this got the hashtag going, leave him alone. But now we live in a world where Kawhi is a clipper, and obviously all we have of Kawhi now are the memories, the sweet, <laughs> fun memories. But there's something that's missing. I, I know for a fact the Raptors are missing something important. <laughs> this just pisses me off knowing how great Kawhi was for us, and just how much better we would have been that 2020 we would have probably won back to I can't do this man We just lost to the magic last night like Siakam needs help nobody's stepping up like All I can think about is Kawhi 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 <laughs> uh... <laughs> We're back home, chilling after a nice walk. Man, it feels good to let your feelings out. Like, uh, what's the pop? What? Based only on today's review.
revealing of 100 through 26 players. One player you feel was ranked either too high or too low. OG Ananobi at 75 is going to look silly in about two months. OG again is just focused. Like he's focused on on everything. He wants to play defense. Like he he guards the best players. I just always felt like OG was gifted. Like there's there's, there's nothing out there that he can't really do. Oh God, I don't know why I just checked the back of the television like it wasn't plugged in. Like it's not the power that's the problem. Clearly. And my light bulbs are good. I bought them yesterday. Like what? You spent a lot of time with Kawhi last year, just a few lockers down. What did you learn from him in particular that will help you this year and in the future, both on and off the court? Oh, just seeing him every day. Oh, my God. I just, I just, I just don't understand. What? Wait a minute. What did you just say there? Let me just rewind a little. I think it's right here. What did you learn from him in particular that will help you this year and in the future, both on and off the court? Oh, just seeing him every day, how he works, and then how he carries himself. Those are the biggest things, probably. This whole time, I was worked up over Kawhi leaving us. For, like, it, it was years ago. This whole time, the answer was in front of me. Kawhi left such a huge imprint on this team, it barely became noticeable. Like, his influence on the team is still there to this day. They lead this best of seven series three games to one. Here's the most important thing. No celebrating. Right, guys, just quick high fives. It's a business trip. And the fans across Canada, they're loving it right now because their team is taking care of business. And sure, Kawhi Leonard, he would have made things better. I know this, okay? Not just me, the players know this, okay? They think about it every day, especially that 2020 bubble run. What was the worst? Losing in the bubble or not making the playoffs? Dang, that's tough. Mm hmm. I think losing in the bubble was worse because I really believe that we could have won a championship Damn. that year. Like, like that game, yeah. Yeah, man. you know, we don't have to talk about it. Yeah. But we really should have won. It's really nice seeing the guys back together talking and it's refreshing seeing them feel the same way we did watching this series. I mean, this series was frustrating to watch because we knew we were way better. And obviously, one guy stepped up at one point. That ball's gone, it's I clean. think. It's That's a game winner. In and a great winner. Great shot by OG Ananobi. So if Max Kellerman pops out of nowhere and asks me, with the fate of the universe on the line, who do you take to shoot that game winner? OG Ananobi. Hey OG, uh, maybe a stupid question. Just watching, like you just you showed no emotion after you hit the shot. Like how do you how did you stay so cool after such a big play? Oh, like because when I shot, I expected to make it. So like I don't shoot trying to miss. Like every shot I shoot, I try to make it, so I was not like, surprised. At this stage of his career, he was already checking a lot of the boxes Kawhi was checking at this point, right? It's like OJ Anobi, really what he's known for is his defense. Obviously, he leads the league in steals per game. Yeah. He leads the league in loose balls recovered. Now, I know the defensive player of your votes are not won by how many steals you get per game. And I know for a damn sure that OJ Anobi is not playing at a level to where the only thing that matters for him is steals per game. I mean, just listen to what they have to say. In a game where the Raptors didn't have like half of their team, um, OG's defense on, uh, on KD was uh, kind of amazing. I think KD only had scored 12 points, which is just, that's what he's like basically averaging in a quarter these days. Yeah. He'll go from guarding KD to uh, guarding Donovan Mitchell, just a completely different type of assignment to guarding. Uh, in their last game, he was on Zion Williamson for a good chunk of the game. And that's just obviously another unique matchup. I mean, just watch him stalk Trey Young in this possession right here, right? Trey Young in this game had 10 turnovers and less than 20 points. You have OG and Nobi forcing Donovan Mitchell to under 10 points for the first time in years. I mean, this guy is just sensational. Trey Young over the last three games, a turnover, OG Ananobi. He's hot, he's trailing the play. Another steal by OG. Side to side, reverse the ball. He stays stuck a lot. Now he's talented. As you see OG getting down in a defense stance. Look at him get, get busy. Another steal, OG, the power game. He's clearly a very versatile defender in this position. And obviously, you don't want your favorite player to be one-on-one. -on -one against He... Leads the league in number of possession, isolation possessions defended. Guys are four for 16 with four turnovers when they ISO OG Ananobi. Hmm. And just like that, he checks up another box that Kawhi Leonard checks. I mean, his defense is elite. He sits at the top. Based on estimated plus minus, 
which is my favorite of the publicly available catch-all stats. Right, right, um, right. We've got prior years to kind of regress things to, so you're, you're getting a, a good sample. Um, that's over at dunksandthrees.com. OG Ananobi, number one in defensive impact in the entire NBA mm. right now. That is right, folks. He is above the other Nigerian versatile defender in Giannis and above the other Nigerian versatile defender that's a big in Bam Adebayo. And you know what's scarier? His offense is starting to take a leap as well. I mean, if you think that what we're seeing right now at OG offensively is his peak, oh boy, just listen to what his teammates have to say. OG did play for your AAU team? Yep. I mean, it's not just his teammates and Fatty Young and Chris Boucher that have high praise for him. You also have, you know, select all-stars in the NBA. When I first seen OG, the first thing I said was, that's a pro. (laughs) (laughs) Just from, like, build of his body, how he moved, how he ran, how he jumped, I was like, we got to get him to play for us. He was playing for, like, I think the St. Louis Eagles at the time, whatever. Me and OG played on the AU team, St. Louis Eagles, um, for a summer or two. Yeah, some of you may have seen this already, but I just want to preface this, okay? Yes, Jason Tatum, the guy that's running right now, he's front runner for MVP, saying this about OG. I mean, a good friend of mine, somebody I'm you know, really happy for, just to see um, how much his game has developed, you know, when we were 15 years old to now. And I told him, I told him before the game started that, you know, I'll probably see him in Utah the all that game. We know how special of a talent he is defensively, but when you hear his teammates talk about his potential on the offense, I mean, the league should be scared of this one, man. He's he has a unique so style much. of play. He has so much left that you guys don't know yet. Like, I'm telling you. Like, he can literally yeah. go for 30 at any time. Yeah, he has that ability. He's, like, he hasn't even, like, scraped, like, his potential, like, his ceiling. He's currently averaging a career high in points, even though he's shooting less frees than he did last season. He's currently averaging a career high in rebound steals and blocks. OG got a matchup. Let me go. Little step back. Put his shoulder into Duncan Robinson. OG is primed to take yet another leap next season, I can tell you this. And as far as untouchables, he is one of three players, including Siakam and Barnes, that I think Masai should build around. Not to say that I lost faith in the other guys. I'm just saying this because those are your cornerstones and it should stay that way. OG, six or more games that you've had three or more steals. I know the preparation hasn't changed, but in game, is there something different that's clicking for you? No, I'm just trying to uh, trust the game plan and then make reads and react when it happens in the game. 